On August 9, 1977, the Chief of Chaplains, Rear Admiral John J. O'Connor, signed a memorandum requesting that a rating and review board establish a general rating entitled Religious Program Specialist in the Navy to provide a force of trained enlisted personnel to share in a professional manner in the support of the free exercise of religion in the naval services. Now, this was not a request simply for a chaplain's clerk. Rather, it clearly defined the need for a team approach to religious ministry and spiritual care by people with distinct roles to play. The rating was officially approved by the Secretary of the Navy in February of 1978. As chaplains, we could not do what we do in ministry were it not for your faithful and dedicated service. January 15th of this year marks the 35th anniversary of the establishment of the Religious Program Specialist Rating. As I ponder the contributions of countless RPs over the past 35 years, I am thankful for our pioneers, those who ventured courageously into unknown territory to prepare the way for our rating and who established a firm standing for all of us these many years later. I think of our rating's living legends, such as Master Chief James Graham, Master Chief Gerald Kimberlin, whose work proved essential in the establishment and the advancement of the RP rating. To W. Everett Hendricks, the first Navy chaplain's assistant. To Virginia T. Moore, the first female to be selected as a specialist W. I think of Gilbert Dean Arnold and Helen Lillian Cohen, who were the first male and female Marines to serve as chaplain's assistants. I think of those pioneers who advanced through the ranks, like James Hudak, our first active duty senior enlisted leader, Paul Driscoll, our first reserve senior enlisted leader, and Ray Osborne, our first Command Master Chief from our community. From the first 145 sailors authorized to convert to the RP rating, to the 23 sailors who recently graduated RPA school in October of 2013, I applaud you for your vigilance and the faith you have provided to one another, whether deployed or in garrison. And I thank you and your families for the personal sacrifices you make. Together, as 987 RPs, both active and reserve, we are making significant contributions to our Navy and Marine Corps and building the legacy of our rating. The Commandant recognizes the important role you play, delivering on his promise that the Marine Corps will keep faith with Marines, sailors, and their families. The RMT, and RPs in particular, are critical to this vital mission. Embedded within the command, serving shoulder to shoulder with your Marines, you enjoy a unique and special bond with the members of your unit. You deepen the understanding of the word faith. Faith not just in God, but also in the bond of trust that you have with your Marines, sailors, and families. We as chaplains would be remiss if we did not acknowledge with a great deal of gratitude that when you say, I've got your back, chaplain, you epitomize the essence of keeping faith. In peace, in harm's way, in garrison and deployed, chaplains rely on the critical support you provide for us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all religious program specialists for your unwavering support of Marines, sailors, and families for the past 35 years. From Sergeant Major to Command Master Chief and Lieutenant Colonel to Major General, every leader I meet with continues to praise your work and they are extremely proud to have you within their commands. Since 1979, religious program specialists have responded and fought alongside Marines in Beirut, Grenada, Panama, Somalia, Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan. As you contemplate the theme for this year's anniversary, honoring your past while forging your future, may the rich heritage of the rating embolden you to strengthen the future force. May you continue to train to excellence with those in this unparalleled rating. As you continue serving with Marines in today's uncertain environment, be ever ready to answer any call just as you have faithfully done for the past 35 years. Happy anniversary, RPs, and Semper Fidelis. I am most honored to serve alongside each one of you and consider myself very blessed to serve as your senior enlisted leader. You continue to serve with distinction 
and continue to exceed the expected, with a record number of you being recognized as Sailors of the Quarter and Sailors of the Year in your commands. I encourage you to consider how you can continue to make a difference, because what you do has eternal value for those you serve. Continue to integrate and participate in the daily operations of your command and to motivate others by being a role model for high ethical behavior. Our legacy is rich and our future promises to be bright. I look forward to our collaborative efforts in the year to come as together we serve our people. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary, RPs. RPs.